Painsaw Man, episode 8. And they're gonna make me watch this again. I mean, it's so cool, but so devastating. Maybe this is the episode where, we, where we'll find out who is still alive. <laughs> she looks so unbothered by the whole thing. So bored. This is one of those, for me, it was a Tuesday type moments. For you, it was the loss of every character you've ever loved and had hopes for and was rooting for. <laughs> this is their goodbye. Marunomi. I love this snake. Like, I hate her for what she's done, but I love this snake, it's so cool. <laughs> Power fled? Oh, that was, was that her last act? Activating Denji, final revenge. Now she's paying attention. Denji is everyone who watched episode 7. <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the menacing sword out of the head? Or was it the fact that he killed everyone that you know? Ooh. This show is just so quality in every aspect. Like, just in one episode. In one partial episode, the villains just look so amazing. Cool. This fight's already so high. And this guy, the, the son, son, I think, of the Yakuza boss that Denji killed, obviously made the same or similar deal that he did. Who is his Pochita, I wonder? I don't really know what to expect from the show anymore except for greatness. Things I expected before now. Boobs. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Boobs. Also sexual tension. Evangelion-style shenanigans at Aki's house. What I got instead was just death. <laughs> just total death and like a 90 degree plot turn. It's amazing. Yeah, he's still not out of the woods yet. He's still in a lot of danger. And he also took off a lot of his life with those attacks. I'm guessing they're pretty evenly matched. Obviously, the, the designs for Chainsaw Man, Denji himself, are awesome, but the villain's really cool as well. He's getting shot. Denji hit him with the people's elbow. I don't think he cares, Denji. I don't, no, I don't think this is him. Yeah. Damn. Was that an attack again? Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't get used to that. Why does he bother with any other attacks? Does he need to charge for, for it or something? That was the plan. Although Chobeni died or got... Shot allegedly off screen. Makima got shot in the head on screen, but I don't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's real. Eri? <laughs> He's like some kind of time travel or something. Past demon. People are afraid of the past, right? Yes! I knew it. I knew she was too good of a character to kill. Unlike Chobani. I love her. She's the best. No, she's getting off the train. I mean, I'm even more intrigued by her now. <laughs> I, thought she was, I thought she was interesting before. Uh, something else entirely. I was shot in the head, but I'm back now. Huh? <laughs> I saw that a little differently, but I'll take your word for it. Or was it a doppelganger? A decoy? Did Makima's doppelganger just die? It's, it's very unclear. Speaking of looking unbothered, when I mean, you have a higher plan, I guess, some other motivation. Everything else just seems like white noise, raindrops on a window. Enjoy your last meal, probably. Well, this new villain with the three swords is definitely Denji. Does that make unfazed girl Makima? She's not nearly as sexy, but it seems like they'd, they'd be across from each other on the playing field. Let me find out that she's a fan favorite too. I never know, like, watching shows blind. I'll just watch an episode and then I'll think nothing of a character and then I'll get, finally, best girl, whatever her name was, has arrived. I don't know what she wants with the prisoners, but I know it is in their best interest. Even the prisoners are getting the vibe. 
Man, I would be scared out of my mind getting anywhere close to Denji. He's fine. I'm sure he's okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is Makima doing this remotely using the prisoners? Are the birds her agents or something like that? Her eyes? What kind of sorcery is this? Ooh, they know each other. Damn, that is a broken power. All prisoners are just in love with her though, so they're okay with this. I offer myself as tribute. To your force crushing. Remote force crushing. What is her devil contract? It's like people death note. You will be my death note for today. Oh, they feel it before it happens. They feel the pressure. Almost seems like she's having fun with it. This is one of the most terrifying powers I've ever seen. There's just no running from that. There's nothing you can do if she knows your name. That's not gonna do it. No one can help you. <laughs> I would change my identity and name so fast. Yeah, that's all. Just killing everyone. Remotely. We did our best. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Tell me why this is such a fitting power for her, too. She's literally crushing men. Nothing can crush a man like a woman he's in love with. That's her whole thing. That's her whole deal. Come to think of it, this could be totally off, but I'm assuming she knows best girl over here's name, yet didn't kill her. Maybe she could only kill men. That wouldn't surprise me at all. That would be so perfect for her. That would be so in line with everything that I feel I know about her. Actually, I feel like someone like Makima might not even like or want to deal with other women, because I think sometimes the girls or women that have the most power over guys avoid women, perhaps because they're playing games other girls are very aware of and can spot immediately and easily, but are not willing to play themselves. So they resent watching people do it. Girls would be able to see through Makima a lot more clearly, level-headedly, than Someone like Denji or Aki would. We even saw that. We saw that with... I already forgot her name. She's been dead one episode. Himeno. She made it! She actually lived! I'm so relieved! I haven't had a chance to become a fan favorite yet. At least this time she's stabbing people on the other, other team. <laughs> gonna fight the snake oh damn there we go that's more like it there we go that is such a relief what a great feeling damn she's badass <laughs> what a line wow I'm eating my words where was this girl in the infinity hotel She really got a lot out of that drinking party. I would say it was a huge success. And just by, <laughs> by nature of what happened last episode, you are now second in command of the whole organization. All is forgiven now. All is forgiven because of your cool action scene. That's right, now we're pointing the knife in the right direction. Alright, she still seems a little unhinged, but I have a feeling she got Obachan too. Oh, Obachan is doing like a Mrs. Doubtfire. But she won't be cleaning houses anytime soon. I mean, yeah, it's perfectly, under perfectly understandable. Perfectly... I'm not gonna say relatable, but... Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's hilarious, I've been making fun of Chobani for <laughs> three straight episodes. <laughs> Then they do this to me, make me look stupid. Maybe it's just me. That breakdown was so much more endearing than the one in the hotel. I think we need to have a meeting. I don't think she really cares. And surprise, surprise, Makima lands on her feet with more power. Honestly, I don't blame you. What gave you that idea? Bye. 
Bye, Felicia. <laughs> yep. Inside, his heart is hurting because he also was in love with her. That man just got out of a very toxic relationship. Yeah, she's just terrifying. This is bizarre. What am I even looking at? It's like intestines. It's super freaky. I feel like this is a deeper significance that I'm just not ready for yet. Oh, and it's Makima that emerges from it, and it's like doing it. She evaporated in smoke. That was very strange and interesting, that ending. Not sure what to make of that exactly. Leave it to Makima to get shot in the head and end up looking even cooler than before. She's definitely anti-fragile. I've been thinking a lot about Makima, wondering what is the source of her power? You know, what exactly makes her so alluring and in control? If I had to guess, I think part of it is that she's found a way to have everything she needs to the point where she has no weaknesses. And that gives her a lot of power to just play around with people and with her world. I mean, obviously she has a lot of power in the show's terms. She can just crush people remotely. She knows what's going on. She knows the score. She has a goal that she believes she can reach and can reach alone or at least that the individual parts don't matter, the people don't matter. They're all just pieces to move on a board and are replaceable. I think that's become very clear. It's not that she wants for nothing, but she wants for very little and the things that she wants, she feels progress towards and confidently believes it's within her grasp. So there's no ask from her. There's no ask for anything from anyone who isn't replaceable and that gives her so much leverage. Approaching someone like Makima, you immediately feel you have nothing to offer, but she has things you want and so the relationship is unbalanced immediately from the start and both of you know it which makes it deeper because you're working hard to even create a more balanced dynamic between the two of you just enhances her power because she's holding still she's exerting no energy meanwhile you're revealing your weaknesses but she has a flaw right she's not a good character she's a she's a devil for sure and if i have to guess what that is i would say her lack of morality will come back to bite her there's nothing she wants that other people can give her but there is something she desperately wants and it's possible that one her endless ambition will never be quenched and two, the things she desperately wants will destroy her in the end as a sort of a poetic punishment for all the bodies she leaves in her wake in pursuit of her goals.